Today we will study <coughs> unit five. In unit five, first of all, we will study about logic gates. Now, what is logic gate? Logic gate is an electronic circuit which understands a binary language. It has one or more than one input but only one output one or more than one input but only one output so logic data is an electronic circuit with one or more than one input but only one output and the relation between input and output relation between input and output depends on certain logic relation between input and output is dependent on certain logic is the name logic is <coughs> it understands binary element binary binary language binary means only two bits zero and one zero is known as low input zero is known as low one is known as I. Zero is also known as false. One is known as two. Zero is known as zero volt. One is known as five volt. The logic circuits are operated with a TTL supply. TTL supply is a 5 volt supply. So, 0 means a low state. Low state is also known as a false state. False state is equal to 0 volt. Another bit, 1. 1 is known as high state. High or a true state. True or 5 volt. 0 volt, 5 volt. 5 volt is the supply that is given. Known as a TTL supply. So logic gates understand only binary language. Inputs are described in 0 and 1. One or more than one input described in 0 and 1. Either the input will be 0 or 1 or both. It depends how many inputs are given. Whether input is 1, 2 or more than 2. So inputs will be either 0 or 1. Output is only one, one output that can be described in zero or one. A circuit with two, one or more than one input and only one output. Input as well as outputs, both are described in zero and one, a binary language. Zero is equal to low or false or zero volts. One is equal to high or two or five volts. So <coughs> depending on this, we will study different logic gates. So there are three basic logic gates. Three basic logic gates. So logic gates define certain mathematical properties. Logic logical language now what is logical language? I will explain it. There are three basic gates. NOT gate, AND gate, OR gate. NOT logic, AND logic, OR logic. 
Now, how to define these gates? The gates are defined on relation between input and output. I already told you the logic gates one or more than one input, but only one output, and relation between input and output is dependent on certain logic. Now, what is that logic? Not gate. Relation between input and output. Output is not the input. Output is, I am mentioning the name of the gate. Output is not the input. This is name of the gate, but meaning is dictionary meaning. Output is not input. So there can be only one input and one output. Because we are talking in binary language either 0 or 1. So when output is not the input, there can be only one input and one output. When output is not, this is name of the gate, but its meaning is dictionary meaning. Output is not input. So if input is 0, output will be 1. Input is 1, output will be 0. Output is not input. Only one input. and one output. Suppose I am indicating output by y. A is the input, y is the output. So if input is 0, output will be 1. And if input is 1, output will be 0. Output is not input. If input is 0, output will not be 0. So it will be 1. If input is 1, output will not be 1, it will be 0. So this is a truth table for not gate. Output is not the input. So symbolically not gate is defined as uh, like this. This is symbol of not gate. This is input A and this is output. Output is complement of input. This bubble indicates inversion. Or complement. Or complement. So complement of A is A complement. If input is 0, 0 complement is 1. If input is 1, so 0 bar. One, one bar. So input is zero. Output is complement of input a bar. Zero bar. One. If in a is one, output is a bar. So output is not the input. That is logic between relation between input and output. Output is not the input. This is name of the gate, but its meaning is dictionary meaning output will not be equal to input. So second basic gate is AND gate. Two or more than two inputs will be there. So how it is defined? Output is higher. Output is higher when I am talking about two inputs. I am talking about Inputs. When inputs A and B both are I. So here I have defined the gate output is not the input. Not is name of the gate, but its meaning is dictionary input. Here also, and is name of the gate, but meaning is dictionary meaning. A and B. There are two inputs, both should be high, then only output will be high. So, see. <coughs> A, B, two inputs I am defining. And it indicates. Productive operation. 
logical multiplication. So there are four possibilities. If there are two inputs, both the inputs are zero. Any one input is one. Another input is one. Both the inputs are one. So <clears throat> y is a dot b. Zero dot zero is equal to zero. One dot zero is equal to zero. Zero dot one is equal to zero. One dot one is equal. To so a dot b is the output. So zero dot. So a is zero, b is zero. So output is a dot b. So a is zero, b is zero, zero dot zero is zero. A is one, b is zero. A is one, b is zero, one dot zero is zero. A is zero, b is one. A is zero, b is one. 0 dot 1 is 0. A is 1, B is 1. A is 1, B is 1, 1 dot 1 is 0. So, this is. Output is high. High. 1. High means 1. When input A and B. A and B. Both are high. So, this is name of the gate. But it is indicating dictionary meaning A and B. Dictionary meaning both should be high. So, symbol of AND gate. This is input A, this is B, Y is equal to A. This is symbol of AND gate. Now, third basic gate is OR gate. I will define it like this. Output is high when input A or B or both are high. Output is high when input A or B or both are high. When input A or B or both are high. This is name of cat. But meaning is dictionary meaning. A or B. A Q or B. Q or only. One. So A, B, it in. This is product. This will be addition. A plus B, 0 plus 0, 1 plus 0, A is 1, B is 0, A is 0, B is 1. And in digital electronics, 1 plus 1 is also 1. So output is high when input A or B or both are high. So that is orbit. Symbol of orbit. This is input A, this is input B, Y is equal to A plus. So first operation is complement, second operation is product, third operation is summation or addition. But in logical way, relation between input and output depends on certain logic. Here the logic is complement or inversion. Here the logic is product and here the logic is addition. While defining, this in indicates name of the gate and gate but meaning is dictionary value. A ani B. A ani B. A or B or both or is name of the gate but indicates dictionary meaning. A Q B A Q B Dogal Peki one is high or both Duni A or B or both are high. If A or B 
और वो था रहा है देन ओनली आउटपुट इज हाई दैट इज लॉजिकल ऑपरेशन सो नॉट ऑपरेशन एंड ऑपरेशन और ऑपरेशन कॉम्प्लीमेंट प्रोडक्ट एडिशन these three gates are known as basic gates if you are asked a question explain basic gates then you have to explain three gates not gate and gate or gate first define it this is the definition then write the truth table and then draw the symbol okay now we will study next gates now next universal gates the question is asked which are universal gates and why these gates are known as universal gates so there are two gates nad and nor nad and nor are known as universal gates Why these two gates are known as universal gates? The question is, which are universal gates? So NAND and NOR are universal. Why? Because using these two gates, any other gate can be implemented. That means we can have output of any other gate using these two gates. We can have output of NOR gate using NAND gates and NOR gates. We can have output of AND gate using NAND gates and NOR gates. We can have output of OR gate using NAND gates and NOR gates. So using these two gates, any gate can be implemented. So these two gates are known as universal gates. So NAND and NOR. NOR and NOT. not and not or not get an and get combination not get an or get combination how will you define that name of the gate should be included in the definition output is not the output of n output is not the output of n means n output is complemented if output of n is zero output is not the output of n if output of n is zero then output of n will be one if output of n is one then output of n will be zero output is not the output of n simply here output is not the output of or not gate is complement of and gate complement of and gate is nand gate complement of or gate is nor So A B A dot B. This is AND gate. NOR gate is only one input, one output. So this is AND gate. Output of AND complemented. Output is not. Output of n. This is output of n. It's not. So NAND gate is symbolically represented as this NOT gate. Bubble is put here, so that is symbol of NAND. And NOT, NOT AND. In short, a bubble is put on symbol of and that is NAND. Here, or 
output of R as we have studied it in above article. plus right? or it's not so this is the symbol of land these two combined to represent this these two will be combined put bubble here that is not Output is not the output of R output. So A, B, zero dot zero bar is equal to zero bar is equal to one. One dot zero bar. Is equal to zero bar. Is equal to one. Zero dot one bar. A is zero. B is one. Is equal to zero bar. Zero dot one is zero. One dot zero is zero. One dot one bar is equal to one bar. Is equal to zero. Output of NAND. Exactly opposite to output of NAND. Output is not the output of NAND. This is exactly opposite to the output of N. This is A is 0, B is 0. A is 1, B is 0. 1 plus 0 is 1. 1 complement is 0. 0, 1. 0 plus 1. Complement is equal to one complement is equal to zero. One one. This is exactly opposite to the output of R. Output is not the output of R. That is not. So these two gates are known as basic gates, NAND gate and NOR gate. Because any other gate can be implemented using these two gates. We can implement any gate using these two bits. Hence, these two bits are known as universal bits. Right? Now, the last bit. Exclusive or exclusive or in or we define it when A or B or both are high. For or our definition was output is high when A or B or both are high. Here the definition is different. Output is high. Exclusively only when A input A or B is high. Output is high exclusively only when exclusively only when A or B is high. In our gate, A or B or both were high. Here, only either A or B should be high so that output will be high. In our gate, A or B or both were high so output was high. Here, either A or B is high, then only output will be high. So,
ए बी वाई ए एक सौ बी ए बार बी प्लस ए बी जीरो जीरो आई एम पुटिंग यर जीरो 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 बार जीरो प्लस जीरो डॉट जीरो बार जीरो बार जीरो बार इज वन डॉट जीरो प्लस जीरो डॉट वन वन डॉट जीरो इज जीरो प्लस जीरो डॉट वन इज जीरो सो ए इज वन बी जीरो आई एम पुटिंग ए वन एंड बी जीरो वन बार वन डॉट जीरो बार ए इज वन बी जीरो ए इज वन बी जीरो सो वन बार जीरो डॉट जीरो प्लस वन बार ऑफ जीरो इज वन जीरो डॉट जीरो इज जीरो प्लस वन डॉट वन इज वन एंड जीरो प्लस वन इज जीरो Now let us study how we can implement NOT gate, AND gate, OR gate using NAND and NOR. I have told you why NAND and NOR are known as universal gates because using these two gates we can implement any other gate. So we will try to implement output of NOT gate using NAND gate, output of AND gate using NAND gate, output of OR gate using NAND gate. And at the same time, output of not and an or using nor gates. So using and and nor, we can obtain output of any other gate. So these two gates are known as universal gates. But before that, we should be aware of De Morgan theorem. So what are De Morgan theorem? There are two theorems. First, and second. These two are known as De Morgan's theorem. Now, how to define them? Suppose A and B are the variables. There are two variables A and B. I am defining this. Complement of product of variables. Complement of product. I am taking product of A and B. Complement of product of two variables is equal to addition of their complement. complement of product complement of product is equal to addition of their complements addition of their complements so in words how are we find complement of product of two variables is equal to addition of their complements this is first demand now we will define this second one same thing complement of here it is product here it is solution so complement of addition of two variables is equal to here it is addition here it is product product of their complements complement of addition here it is product here it is addition here it is addition here it will be product So these two are known as De Morgan's theorem. So using these two theorems, we will now develop 
three basic gates not and an or using two universal gates and and not implementation of three basic gates using two universal gates using these two concepts so i am writing these two concepts to assign one side of the board so first a dot b bar is equal to a bar plus b bar and a plus b bar is equal to a bar dot b bar these two are essential for us to understand the angles implementation of basic gates which are basic gates not and or using universal gates which are universal gates and not So using these two gates, we will form these three gates. I will use these two gates to obtain the output of these three gates. So to this side NAND gate by using NAND gate, and to this side by using NOT gate. You have to use only NAND gates to obtain output of NOT gate. I am using NAND gate. I have shorted both the inputs of NAND gate. Common input given is A. So since it is bubble, bubble means inversion. Output is inversion of input. Bubble means inversion, not complement. Output is inversion of input. So this is output of NAND gate. Try to remember what is output of NAND gate? Complement of input. Similarly here. I am using NOR gate, shorted both the inputs. So this is NOR gate. NOR gate using NAND gate. NOR gate using NOR. First, no second. Here is one output, so you have to short both inputs of second gate. Here output is one, so you have to short both inputs of second gate. Suppose this is A, this is B. What will be output of NAND gate? A dot B bar. We know output of NAND gate. Now output of NAND gate is given. So output is complement of input. This is input. Its complement. A, B. Here it is A plus B bar. A plus. Output is complement of input. This is input. Its complement. Double bar is equal to A plus B. Double bar A dot B. So A dot B is output of AND gate, and A plus B is output of OR gate. So using two NAND gates, I have obtained output of AND gate. Using two NOR gates, I have obtained output of OR gate. Now third one.
complement of product complement of product a bar a dot b bar is equal to a bar plus b bar in place of a here it is a bar in place of b here it is b bar so a double bar plus B double bar. So using NAND gates, I have obtained this is output of OR gate. I have, using NAND gates, I have obtained output of AND gate. Using NAND gates, I have obtained output of OR gate. Similarly, here. Here it will be A bar, here it will be B bar. Output of NOR is complement of addition. Complement of addition is product B bar. NOR addition of inputs and their complement is the output. So in place of A, here it is A bar. In place of B, here it is B bar, they are complement. So product A bar dot B bar. So A double bar dot B double bar. A dot B. So using NOR gates, I have obtained output of N gate. So using NAND gate, I have obtained output of NOT gate, N gate, OR gate. Using NOR gate, I have obtained output of NOT gate, OR gate, AND gate. So any gate, any output of any gate can be implemented using NAND. Purely NAND gates are used to represent NOT and NOT or purely NOR gates are used to represent NOT or and AND. So these two gates are known as universal gates. So the question is asked, which are the universal gates? NAND gate and NOR gate are the universal gates. Why? Because in these two gates, we can have or we can implement any other gate. So you will be asked to implement basic gates using NAND gates so these are the basic gates using NAND gates or if, or if you are asked to implement basic gates using NOR gates then this is the answer so basic gates using NAND gates basic gates using NOR gates okay thank you